Tristan, and today we're going to improve your TOEIC score by looking at four questions. I'm going to show you how to get the answer and how to improve your overall TOEIC score. So let's get started. Here's the first question. Okay, first we're going to look at two key vocabulary. The first is optimal, where it says for optimal safety. Optimal is an adjective that means perfect or the highest level. For example, the optimal temperature for coffee is between 82 to 85 degrees Celsius. The second word we're going to look at is obstruct. This is get in the way, interfere, or block. For example, a large group of people obstructed me from entering the building. So I couldn't enter because the people blocked me. Maybe I wasn't invited to the party. I don't know. The noun for obstruct is obstruction. Now this is a blockage or something in the way. An example, the large box was an obstruction to me entering the room. Okay, now that we have the vocabulary, let's get the answer. The first thing you need to know is that after a void, you need a noun form. You can have a noun, a gerund, which is verb ing, or a noun clause. An example, I avoided talking with my ex-girlfriend. I avoided conversations with my ex-girlfriend. It would be wrong to say I avoid speak with my ex-girlfriend because speak is a verb. It also would be wrong to say I avoid spoke with my ex-girlfriend because that's the past tense verb. So after an Avoid, I need a noun, verb ing, or a noun clause. Therefore, for this question, we can eliminate A and B because these are verbs. So if I avoid obstruct, this is wrong because obstruct is a verb. I need a noun. If I say avoid obstructed, this is a past tense verb. So this is wrong. So now we have C and D. Well, eliminate D because obstruction is a proper noun, so it will not have a direct object. On this question, we have a direct object, the view. For example, it obstructed the view, so if I use obstruction, I would have to say there was an obstruction to or of the view. Therefore, the answer is C. This is a gerund. So you are adding ing to a base verb so that it becomes a noun form. For example, I say we complained about. Now about is a preposition, so we need a noun form after it. You cannot just have a verb or subject verb after it. An example, this is wrong. We complained about he obstructed the view. That would be wrong. It would be correct to say we complained about him obstructing the view because obstructing is a gerund noun so it has the object obstructing the view so once again the answer is C all right so let's go to the next question let's get the answer first let's get the basic idea they usually practice on Mitchell field However, sometimes they practice, we need a different location, okay? To get this answer, we need something that equals in, at, on, plus noun, because we are talking about a location. So first, let's eliminate D for two reasons. You would need a preposition before the other. There are two fields. Sometimes I practice at field two, and sometimes I practice at or on the other field. If you just say I practice object, it is not a location. For example, I practice soccer. That's not a location. I practice the guitar. I practice law. But if you have a location, you need in, at, or on. So I practice on a field or at a field. The other reason it's wrong is when we use the other, two items need to be shown before. For example, I have two pens, so I've introduced 
the two items. This one works, but not the other pen. This TOEIC question does not introduce two things at the start. Now, remove C and A for the same reason. Once again, if I said, I practice another, well, I practice another what? Instrument, sport. But if I'm talking about location, I would need a preposition. I practice at another location. I practice on another field. Therefore, the answer is elsewhere. Elsewhere means in, at, or another place or other places. Notice you do not need a preposition before elsewhere. For example, some like to relax at home, but I like to relax elsewhere. I do not need to say in or on or at elsewhere. So, because we don't have a preposition before the blank, the only possible answer is B, elsewhere. All right, let's go to the next question. We can start by simplifying. We can simplify this sentence to make it easier. The company offers blank opportunities. We already have a verb offers. We have an object opportunities. So we want an adjective to describe opportunities. We can eliminate A because reward is not an adjective. It is a verb or noun. We can eliminate B because this is just a plural noun. These are not adjectives, so eliminate them. So now we have C and D. Well, this is about past participle adjectives. These are adjectives that end with ing or usually ed that come from verbs. Let's look at an example. The news excited people. So excited here is a verb. It was exciting news. Exciting is an adjective. There were excited people because of the news. Excited is an adjective. Notice the news excites people. So when we describe the news, we use ing. When we describe the people, we use ed. Let's look at another example. The movie bored people. So it was a boring movie. So ing is describing the subject, the cause, it is the movie. There were bored people in the cinema. So bored is describing the object, the people, how they feel. So if we think about reward, the opportunity rewards people. So the opportunity is the subject. Therefore, it is a rewarding opportunity. So the answer is D, rewarding. Final question. To get this answer, it is all about grammar. It is focused on transitive verbs that need a direct object and intransitive verbs, verbs that do not. For example, if I say I like, this is strange. But if I say I like hockey, I like dancing, I like movies, this is fine. So like needs a direct object. So it is a transitive verb. Intransitive verbs usually do not have a direct object, okay? For example, this is strange. She dyed her pet goldfish. This is incorrect because die cannot have an object. You could say her pet goldfish died or she killed her pet goldfish. Another example, the sky fell the rain. This is incorrect because fell, fall, fallen cannot have a direct object. But we can say rain fell from the sky. Here there is no direct object. In this TOEIC question, we do have a direct object, carbon footprint. So let's eliminate all the intransitive verbs. First, eliminate fall. Fall cannot have a direct object. She fell her drink off the table. Wrong. You could say her drink fell off the table, but it cannot have a direct object. Second, when talking about going up and down, 
Decline cannot have a direct object. Correct? The price declined. Okay? Wrong? The company declined the price. Now, here's a little note. Decline can have an object when it means refuse or say no to. An example, the stranger offered me $10 to take some private photographs together, but I declined the offer. Very strange. Why is he offering me money? Okay, but remember when we talk about going up and down, decline does not have a direct object. Finally, rise, rose, risen does not have a direct object. So you see the consumption tax rate in 2022 was 7%. In 2023, it's 9%. It is wrong to say the government rose the tax rate 2% because rose cannot have a direct object. But you could say the government raised the tax rate by 2% because raise can have a direct object or the tax rate rose by 2% because here there is no object. The tax rate rose by 2%, but we don't have a direct object. Now, finally, if we look at this TOEIC question, we do have a direct object. So the answer, of course, cannot be fall, rise, or decline. So the only option is reduce. Reduce needs an object. Strange. The price reduced. Correct. The company reduced the price. Therefore, we have a direct object, which is carbon footprint. So one can reduce their carbon footprint because that's a transitive verb. It needs an object and reduce is the only verb that can have a direct object. All right, a lot of grammar today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share, like, comment, and keep improving your TOEIC score. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye.